Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR. I have got N1MM logger pulling spots from my CW skimmer. And CW skimmer is set to wide, 170 kilohertz. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, if you take a look at my N1MM logger, you can see a bunch of spots over here in the band map and up in the spectrum monitor. All of this is coming from CW Skimmer. And I have another video and another article out on my website, www.k0pir.us. If you take a look at it and set up your ICOM 7610 with HDSDR and the CW Skimmer, uh, set it up for the 24 kilohertz, the narrow, then uh, you'll be set and ready to go for changing it over to 170 kilohertz wide. So I would go to that, that first article and that, that video on setting it up for narrow. And let me show you just the, the minor changes that you need to do in HDSDR and CW Skimmer to change it over to wide. I'm going to pull up uh, HDSDR and uh, again this is just uh, the changes that you need to make to go from 24 kilohertz to 170 kilohertz. Select independent tune from the EXTIO. Nothing else changes in there. And set the tune frequency to 7085. 7.085 megahertz. And that is halfway in between the range that I want CW Skimmer to scan, the spectrum that I want it to scan. That's halfway in between, so actually it'll be skimming 170 kilohertz. So once that's going, you can go into CW Skimmer. And this is what it looks like, I've got it going. Go into Settings and Radio and set it up for soft rock instead of the soft rock IF set it for soft rock nothing else changes over here the local oscillator frequency is the 7085 or 7085000 hertz and that is the tune frequency in HD SDR so get that set up and then over in the network make sure you have the telnet server enabled and if you just want to see stations calling CQ go ahead and tick this off and then only stations calling CQ will show up but that's it for CW skimmer so if you've been using uh, CW skimmer and narrow at 24 kilohertz just a couple of things to do in there to change it to 170 and same with HDSDR, just a couple of things to do to change it over to 170. I've got another video out on HDSDR and it shows how to set up profiles. I have multiple profiles for HDSDR and let me show you. I'll go to the desktop. I have CW Narrow, CW Wide, and then HDSDR Sideband. So I don't have to remember what to change in HDSDR, but it's really not that difficult. So I got those set up and then an M1 MM logger. Let's take a look at it. Um, I've got my uh, spectrum monitor pulled up in the band map and that is under the window tab. Uh, you'll see the uh, spectrum display down here and then the, uh, the band map up here. If you click on them, they'll pop up. But we want to uh, set up the uh, telnet and you just go to the window and telnet, select it go over to filters that tab and you want to uncheck randomize incoming spot frequencies then go over to uh, clusters and select the uh, selected cluster to local port put your call sign in I don't think anything changed in there and then when you connect you'll see that it connects to your CW skimmer uh, go all the way up you'll see uh, I got my call sign DE skimmer and uh, so it starts pulling spots from it and I'm on 40 meters right now it's in the evening I uh, got quite a few in there 
So all I have to do, if I want to contact uh, one of them, just click on the call sign and it takes me to it. Click on the call sign and it takes me to it. But you know, N1MM Logger is not my main logging program. I use it for contesting. My main program is DX Lab and uh, Spot Collector in, in DX Lab can be set up the same way. I'll go ahead and pull it up. Okay, I have Spot co Collector pulled up. And in Spot Collector, I just went over to Config and the Spot Sources and set it up as in one of these under the DX clusters I set it up as the second one and I enabled it disabled everything else the 127.0.0.1 port 7300 put a name to it and now I'm getting spots in spot collector so if I see one that I want to contact and want to jump to that frequency just double click on it and it takes me there uh, it's KC0DX on 7038.9. And there he is. Let's see if we can hear him. WB9EO. Looks like he dropped off. But that's the way that works in Spot Collector. There's another plug program that I have tried it on, and that's AC Log, Amateur Contact Log. Let's take a look at it. Okay, in Amateur Contact Log, I just went to Settings and DX Spotting, over to Configure, and set it up the same way that I set it up in Spot Collector, in DX Lab Spot Collector. Telnet Host 127.0.0.1, Telnet Port 7300, Log In, enabled it. And it's pulling up spots. Now, if I want to go to the frequency, he's uh, let's see. Oh, he just changed. There, there he is. Uh, K, what is it? K6BZZ, K6BZZ, and uh, that's Richard. He's in uh, Arizona. Or if I see another one, W8KJP. Click on it. There he is. And he's calling the queue. Ah, a bunch of guys calling him. That was too slow. Anyway, that's the way that I have it set up. And uh, boy, it's it's been working really nice. HDSDR and CW skimmer. You'll notice up in the band scope that you can see 170 kilohertz. Let me turn that down. You can see 170 kilohertz. And over on the edges, you'll see it looks like a bunch of big signals over there. And uh, that's not actually so. Uh, it's just on the edge, the outside edge or outlying edge. And there's nothing over there. So I'm looking between 7,000 and uh, 7,170. So that's where I'm looking. I'm seeing a bunch of CW signals in there. And I can click on them in CW Skimmer. And if I see one that I want to listen to, I can listen to them by selecting my speaker. But it doesn't change my frequency over here in HDSDR. And it doesn't change my frequency on my radio. I have no rig control under CW Skimmer. We won't see 170 kilohertz in this section here. We'll see it in the band map. Okay, well that's all I got for this evening. I hope you find this informative and useful. Please remember to go and set up your radio first for a CW Skimmer 24 kilohertz, which is narrow. Set it up first that way, and if you want to make profiles, for HDSDR, I got a video out on doing that, short video. It's real easy to do, and I found it to be pretty useful. So uh, take a look at those videos, the article on my website. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below. And again, thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. That's how you support this channel. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. 
and then uh, click that little bell icon so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Thanks for watching, and again, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. 73 and good DX.